the last quarter final now and it's Mark Day facing Ted Hankey with Day trailing two sets to love. First leg, third set, it's Mark Day trailing by two sets to love. Never reached these stages of uh, any world championship, Mr. Hankey. But certainly proving top oh, form here Hankey. today. Great standard of play. One hundred makes it look so easy. Just ten. Good darts, all resting on the treble 20 wire. One hundred. One six one left. Two one seven throwing. Mark Day. Trouble 20, trouble 17, ball the shot. Trouble 17. 84 left, back to trouble 20. 157 coming in. Trouble 20, trouble 19, double top. But not this time. So Hanky, well this one could bring a tear to Mark Day's eye. Another 16. Double 16. Yeah, Jim Shaw, Yeah, clinical performance. Second leg is 10 to Rovers. So it's Hanky who's dominated this match throughout, leading two sets to love. Taking the first leg of this, the third set. Well, and what a way to put more pressure on the young man from High Wycombe. Mark Day. Couldn't wish for a better start to a leg that will put him into the semi-finals. And a tilt at Ronnie Baxter. Two, two, six. That's what's required from the count. I don't know if it's Monte Cristo or Dracula. But whichever away is really going to town against Mark Day. 80 scored, 146 left. That's just hanging on in there. Will he go for 18s? Or will he give it a try? 126 it is. 316 Mark Day. 190 points behind. It's coming down for 19s. 139. Options here could go for the 19s to finish it off. Single treble and bull. 38 scored. 88 left. Treble 20 leaves double 14. 177 no out shot. Trouble 20, double four for the match. Double four. 
Well, a shake of hands there, Ted Anke in tremendous form. I suppose you could say it just wasn't Mark's day. Please.